It's the opening night of the Norman Conquest that has come to New York from the Old Vic in London. Now, the Old Vic is run by Kevin Spacey, and we are Kevin's date tonight for the opening. Good evening, gentlemen, ladies. been backstage to I have I've been back to see them all indeed I have they're all quite excited I just told them now all that really matters is don't screw it up <laughs> hey look there's Matthew Warchus the fabulous director of this production oh yes it's right over there Matthew Warchus should we go bother let's go Come let's, on, go, let's bother. go bother Matthew Matthew the great thing about Matthew is there's always more notes there's always more things that you can try that, that, you make that sound like that's not a good thing no it is a good thing <laughs> where the cameras go off because we're drinking we're drinking this is not good for the kids. Now a Broadway opening is really, really glamorous. And uh, just actually take a look over here. You're going to see how glamorous it is. That's Sonia Friedman. She's one of the producers with Kevin Spacey of The Norman Conquest. Now Sonia is checking her Blackberry to see the early reviews that have come out. So far they've gotten rave reviews from Variety, The Associated Press, and Time Magazine. And I'm going to break that news to Kevin. I have. I can give you some good news. Yeah, what's that? Uh, rave reviews from Associated Press. Uh huh. Uh, variety. Right. How was the first act? You're good, very good. I mean, the audience is loving it. Uh, the, the cast seems to be having a great time. Keeping the nerves calm. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> I highly recommend it. <laughs> Thank you. Congratulations. Thank Welcome. you very much. Rhonda <laughs> Hart. Oh, you. Yes, you. What can I do for you? You can come give me a big hug and a glass of champagne. <laughs> Just trying to prepare you for the party. Just trying to prepare you for the party. Thank you. A producer never ends. Producer's work never ends. <laughs> and I've gotten some advance notice that uh, a large majority of uh, the reviews, the only ones I've heard about, are. F Raves. <laughs> Sorry, that can't go out over the net. <laughs> Our flipping raves. It felt good. Yeah. It, I thought it was a really nice show, yeah. and nice. they were obviously yeah. a very bright audience. Yes, indeed. There were some gags that they got that no one Sucking else. Sucking up well, to we the didn't, audience. They were laughing now, at places. By the way, do you think this is alluring for us that you're just putting that on? <laughs> I mean, the trick is, I mean, we were just talking about Amelia, on a night like this where, you know, you've got all, it's like Christmas in dressing rooms, you know, flowers and gifts and yada yada, is to keep the nuance, yeah. to keep the, the level of, of seriousness that's in all these characters, and I think they did rather well to But they've been bullied into that non-stop. Yes, by who, <laughs> I wonder. All right, we've been backstage on an opening night. We've seen Kevin kiss and hug all the wonderful actors. Now we've come to the thing they all do it for, the opening night party where the booze is free and flowing, and we are now awaiting the verdict from the critics. This is the moment of truth. The right. reviews are well, coming through. So we're yeah. going to see now if this play lives or dies on Broadway. But after seeing this conquest, I'm moving Mr. Akeborn into my private VIP lounge of contemporary playwrights to join, among others, Harold Pinter, yes. August Wilson, Carol Churchill, and David Mamet. Great. Yes! yes. It started four hours ago, and you said you weren't that nervous, but the reviews have come through, and you look yeah. pretty happy and pretty relieved to me. What, what is the, yeah. what, what's the best thing the critics have said about this? Well, what I hoped when I started out wanting to do these plays was I always felt that Akeborn has never been put into that category of the great playwrights. Yeah. And the critics tonight have said they are now bringing him in. And these plays that made such an impression on you when you were a young I was a, actor, little a little kid in Los Angeles, and you I saw these plays saw them many years ago. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Congratulations.